Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you how to install VirtualBox within a Windows environment. So previously I've showed you how to do it in a Linux environment and it is a bit more complex there because you do need to add repositories and then pull the packet from the repositories. You can also pull it from the website but that's not recommended. However in Windows uh, the process is fairly straightforward, it's fairly simple you just go ahead open up your favorite browser mine is Firefox and go ahead and type in virtual box press enter and go ahead and open up their website uh, takes a bit to load don't know what the problem is perhaps my internet connection is slow never mind just click on downloads and choose virtual box 43224 Windows hosts so just go ahead and click on it and I don't want to download it now because I've downloaded it prior to this tutorial in order to save some time but since you didn't just go ahead and click on save file and it will download it the download process will start I'm just gonna go ahead and navigate over to my downloads folder I have it right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on it in order to initiate the installation wizard uh, the, the keep in mind that this Windows this is actually a virtual machine and I am con I am conducting an installation of VirtualBox within a machine that is being run within a which within yet another virtual box so a virtual machine within a virtual machine would be a proper way to name the situation you can see I've minimized it and I can pull it now around but it works just fine the installation process will go no problems uh, it will go fairly smoothly without any problems so just go ahead and click next on these options you can actually browse for a different lo installation location here but the default one will do just fine so just go ahead and click next create shortcuts register file association sure why not click next uh, it's gonna this warning is basically telling you that it will reset your network connection so if you're don't want that to happen you might halt the installation process or something like that but don't worry even if you're downloading something it's not a big deal if your interfaces are reset your connection goes down and then it comes back up again and your download might just stop for a while and that's it continue on later anyway just go ahead and click yes install and there we oops we have this is don't worry it's not an error or something like that it's just Windows asking for our permission anyway the pro the installation process has started here no problems and as I was talking about it previously this is a virtual machine within a virtual machine uh, the installation of the program will go fine no problems however if you plan to run another virtual machine within this virtual box within this virtual machine you might encounter some problems so start the virtual box after installation finish sure why not and as I said you might encounter some problems performance wise because I mean you would need to have crazy good hardware in order to accomplish this feat I believe I could do it but uh, to the point that the, that the virtual OS would function but to a very limited extent and that's it I don't think I could actually do any meaningful work with it that would be quite difficult to achieve but in any case we have our virtual box manager here here I'm spinning it around and the process of creating pretty much new virtual machines is exactly the same more or less uh, the options are the options have the same places so you'll be able to follow this tutorial through even if you are using Windows and have created a virtual machine for the most part anyway uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and close it now I will uninstall it here because it's completely pointless for the time being but in any case I hope that this was that this that this was helpful to all the Windows users out there because let's face it a lot of people do use Windows however uh, for pen testing purposes for ethical hacking Windows is not the best operating system to use out there uh, primarily because it's a lot harder to become anonymous with Windows to anonymize yourself and furthermore most of the most of the pen testing hacking tools were actually designed for Unix Linux like environments for to work in combination with their terminals however uh, the, the choice of the operating system is completely up to you 
I will be working with Fedora, Linux, and I will most likely be using this Windows machine as some sort of a victim which we will be attacking and exploiting. Anyway, I bid you all farewell and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.